So the first thing we want to do is we want to uh, activate BuddyPress. So this is in your, in your after you've log, logged in as the administrator, go into the plugins and then hit installed. And after you, because you've already uploaded all those plugins in the back, you should have them available here. So now we activate BuddyPress. BuddyPress is activated. Now it's important for you to update your per permalink as well. So if this is a fresh install of the uh, WordPress blog. So we click here. And I typically like to have the month and name of the post. So this is important for you to update your permalink. Next you want to do is you want to go in here and you want to set up your um, BuddyPress forum. So now the next thing you want to do is to just allow, allow the installation of BBPress. And it's a brand new installation. And it's going to um, say that you, you need to create a new file called bbconfig.php. So what you want to do is to copy this text here, right? copy this text, and then go into um, WordPad or any text editor, and then save that this text into that um, text editor, and then FTP upload it back into the um, WordPress directory. All right. So the other thing that's really cool about BuddyPress is your ability for you to customize fields in addition to the core fields of the uh, application that that is WordPress. You know, I can add a new field and I can ask them for their city. Where are you from? Okay. So I can even say whether it's required, what type of field it is. Hit next. I can say, you know, what your, what's your favorite food, you know, who's your favorite actor, etc. I can ask all these questions and I can say whether they're required or not. It, it's, it's really flexible. So now, the, other, the next thing you want to do is to activate a uh, BuddyPress compatible theme. So what you do is you go to themes and it should have a theme already made for you and uh, you want to choose the BuddyPress theme, uh, yeah, there's, there's a couple, not many, but you, you, it's, it's a start and then you can get a web designer to customize that. Okay, so let's activate that. So it's important for you to do that. So this is the, the default um, BuddyPress um, theme and then this is what it looks like. Sorry, this is the default WordPress theme and this is what it looks like in the um, updated theme. So the other thing I want you to keep in mind when you're doing these installs is I want you to at least have two browsers up side by side. Maybe have Internet Explorer on one side and maybe have Safari or, or Chrome or um, you know another browser on another side. And the reason why you want to do that is it simulates two separate computers. One side is your administrative, the setup side, where you can have you know, the, the admin login. And the other side is you want to simulate a different computer using a different user experience for the front end, the customer end. So you can test going in and out without confusing the computer and the cookie session. So it's a really important thing for you to do. So open up two browsers, one for the, um, the user and then one for the admin. Okay, so now you've got the theme. So now... We go in and we activate the um, buddy the, the uh, DAP plugin. Let's do that right now. Let's activate the DAP plugin. Okay, so once I activated the DAP plugin, that was a, a, a little um, confusion there. Okay, once you activate a DAP plugin, you you want to go back and update your permalink setting as well. So when you, you activate your permalink setting, t oftentimes they're going to give you a write error and you need to create a dot uh, ht access file. And you, when you, what you want to do is to copy this text here and put it into WordPad, Notepad and something like that and then save it. And what you want to do is typically you can't save a, a file in DOS or in Windows that has no file name but just dot uh, ht access. So what you want to do is to save it something like, you know, a dot ht access dot uh, like that okay you want to save the file as a dot ht access and once you have that then this is what you would do see I've created these two files already um, based on you know I've, I've, I've done it so now you go into the root of your buddy press 
Uh, this is my root of my BuddyPress directory. I'm copying both of these files and I'm FTPing them over. And next thing you want to do is to make sure that they are read and write capable. So we edit their writes. So we go to 666, which allows people to read and write that file. The HD access. So the problem is that it didn't recognize it. Remember, I told you to save it as uh, a dot HD access. Now what you do is you want to remove the A when it's on the server, and now it should work fine. So that's a, a little trick there. So it's it, you shouldn't see this this error. If it, if you see this error, then it's not working right. So now see it's all empty. So now the permalink, uh, permalink file access is properly set up. So a few tricks that you want to do when integrating your um, BuddyPress installation with DAP. First thing you want, you want to do is to create a new page. Okay, You want to add a new page and you want to call this page the welcome page. This is important. The welcome page is the first page that users will see once they log in to DAP. Okay? So this is welcome to our community blah 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 okay so you you have that as a welcome page and what I would recommend you do is you make the welcome page not available in the general tab see over here you don't need the welcome page on this tab here so what you do is you just change it, the parent to be underneath about so it doesn't show so that's important okay that's updated next I want you to go into the um, widgets under appearance to enable the BuddyPress, um, the, the, sorry, the DAP login widget right here. You drag that over here and you save. Okay, so this allows the DAP to, to uh, the users to see on the sidebar here, there's no login. So now we refresh. And now there is a login that that allows us to log in. So this was a previous uh, cookie, so I'm going to log out. So as you can see, this this plugin is really nice. It allows us to um, add add and remove. Um, sorry, be able to log in.